All right, now I will begin with single whip. According to routine, single whip. Ying shou. To single whip. Next movement. Go to pheasant. Stands on the leg. Two. One is left, the other is right. Then three dao nian hou. Finished. It is still xie fei shi. Bai he liang chi. Crane spreading its wings. Brush knee to twist step. Get needle at seat bottom. Flash the arm. Turn body around. It is turn and strike opponent with fist before. It is Bai Shen Chuan in the third part. Turn and strike opponent with fist is stretch whole body. It is still parry and punch after it. Step and grasp peacock's tail. Then it is turning and single whip. Ming Shou to single whip. The second part. Stop a single whip. I will demonstrate it.
Right now, I have demonstrated the second part. Now, according to process, say something about key point respective. From single whip to yun shou, we have practiced right now. Finish the yun shou, it is single whip again. Golden pheasant stands on the leg. Acting this way, single whip. Based on it, right foot cannot move in A-shaped step as acting po bu. So open the feet, always in 135 degrees. Open to this degree, along with the direction of tiptoe. Bend leg and squat. Young people can squat down onto the ground. Now notice after sitting, the upper body cannot bend down. In addition to loose hip, like opened as sitting, then pull forward, open right foot, body turns to right. As moving, lean to right. As right hand taking to front of chest and pulling forward, moving forward, the foot is out of place. So the foot should buckle back. It is wrong. It is not front correct. So lead left foot to open with waist. Waist leads it to open in this way. The A-shaped step points to northeast. Move center of gravity forward. Moved as turning to inside. Up in this way. Now, please notice. The process of up, open food, cannot stand up over here, cannot stand like this, open feet, move center of gravity forward, up based on it steadily, the absolute leg in general, The foot finger points to northeast. The body, the foot points to south. So up this foot, place over here, turn to south. We notice this arm at this time, combined with sinking shoulder, drooping elbow, sitting with an erecting finger. Somewhere lifts very high, don't lift it too high. Hand elbow is too high. If can sink, shoot and droop elbow, from this figure it is all right. Left hand puts aside left hip. Elbow tip is backward. Five fingers is forward. Crane spreading its wings or low chi yao bu. The left hand moves in this way. In addition to stand this leg, with kicking with heel before, like kicking with heel, finished it, cannot bend in this leg. Kick with leg without bending leg, stand up. Now this leg is called natural erection. 
cannot tighten, cannot stand as tightening. This leg is the same as before. The leg cannot bend. As acting golden pheasant stands on the leg, leg is flexure. Visualize is not very good looking. It is not coherent. The leg is natural erect. Left hand presses downward. Lift right leg, support right arm. It's all right. Turn to left after it. Move leg backward and left. Finish the first one. Squirt left leg and fall right leg. Remove right leg backward. Then right arm presses downward from front to back. At the same time, a standing right leg, bent left arm, bent left leg. Over here, on left, it forms golden feather stands on the leg, but cannot stretch tight too much. According to routine, finish the second. Golden feather stands on the leg. It is Dao Nian Ho. There are differences between this one and the one before in Zhou Li Chui. The differences is in stood up in the first one, the second golden pheasant stands on the leg is done in this way. Move back like this. Push palm. So as moving hand over here, turn two palms over. Ring arm, remove step. It is all right to push palm. Until to finish three. One, two, three. Finished. The same with the second. It is still xie fei shi. Without changing. Xie fei shi. Crane spreading in the wings. Lo xiao bu. Shan Tong Bei is the same. Do as it before. But below point, it's done as before. Next is Pie Shen Quan. But it is not strike opponent with fist. It is called Bai She Tu Xin. What is called Bai She Tu Xin? Expressed in done before is the same as strike opponent with fist. Move center of gravity backward. Lead left leg to buckle with waist. Bend left arm and ring upward, right arm moves downward. Press to front of abutment. Move center of gravity over here, move leg backward. It is the same as strike opponent with fist before. As moving fist downward, it is the same. Up and down and right to stand on inside. Lift leg to right. This hand turns to fist at the same time. Turn to fist over here, move here. Turn to fist over here. The palm is called palm in Bai She Tu Xin. Pushing palm after it, rush fist. If it is strike opponent with fist, it is fist. Not now. It is still fist at present, but as beating, it is fist. Continue to fall. Push out. Next is Ban Lan Chuan. It is the same as before. The difference is over. It is strike opponent was fist before. Hand fist. Hand fist like this. No, we are not. It is Bai She Tu Xin, it's palm. Hand like this, it's palm. So continue to act pair and punch. It is the same as that one. As moving center of gravity backward, turn over two palms, down to back, palm below, from inside to outside. Move forward, hit out, draw back to the place between elbow and wrist of right arm, form the figure of moving, 
then fist gradually. Sit whist. Now I will do it again. As moving, beating, moving fast. If move slowly, as move center of gravity backward, turn over two palms, right palm pushes forward. Place the right elbow and wrist. Form the figure of deflecting, then fist gradually. Act full one band, then step. Now let's continue. Finish the balance chain. Step and grasp the peacock's tail. The same as before. Now I'll say it again. We have said before, we must notice the body off. Must move in this way. Whole body, not turn hand over. See from turning hand, seems the same. It is not the same in fact. The content is different. Then step. Act lunge we finished it. Single whip. Single whip is repeated. Three yin so also is repeated. Finished three. Dao nian hou still single whip. In this part, there are a lot of postures, but most of them are repeated. Mainly is what I have introduced right now. It is pu bu. Left golden fast stands on the leg. It is fresh. Single is turn and strike his opponent with fist. Turn to bai shi tu xi. Less a fist. Just this different in this part. Golden fast stands on the leg and the bai shi tu xi. The errors have been done before. Now it is over for the second part. Now Yang Jing will demonstrate it for you.
The movement in the third part, according to routine, of the single whip is high pat on a horse and paw palm. Then turn and cross leg. Step and fisting crotch. Step and grasp peacock's tail. Turn and single whip. Pobu Shashi again. Finish the Shashi. Stand up to continue. Step up to form seven stars. Step backward, straddle tiger. Turning body with lotus kick. Wang Gong Shi Hu. Parry and punch. Withdraw and push. Crossing arms, it is over here. There are some movements in this part that are different with the second part. Most of the movements in the second part is repeated. There are some fresh movements in this part, rather difficult. So make the difficult movements in the third part interlude among them. Although there are some difficult movements, but it is just to separate it. It is a difficult movement at the end. Now, I will demonstrate it for you.
Now I have demonstrated the last part in the third part. In this part, I will introduce the fresh movements in order. After a single wave is high pat on a horse, we have done it before. But this movement is called high pat on a horse on the poor hand. Not only at a pulling hand, based on original high pat on a horse and the step, such as acting high pat on a horse in this way, single whip. We have done high pat on a horse before. Put here and press gratitude. Push right arm forward. It is all right. These steps are emptiness and fullness step without changing. Just add pulling palm. Pulling palm changes the bow step instead. Bow step. How to pull palm? Left hand moves from inside to front. As bow step, change step and pull out to others. Moving this way. Practice like this. Notice, the leg is pulling palm. As we change the bow step from emptiness to fullness step, left foot must strike to left. Otherwise, you cannot stand steadily. So, notice to change the foot into bow step. Keep some space between them. Then as pulling palm, left arm, right plow, forward. Right arm moves from front to back. Deflect left arm and take back to oxter. It is all right to bend leg in this way. Open this palm first. The center of palm is upward. Right palm is downward first. Move in order. Knee compares with elbow. All right. High pad on the horse is higher a bit. The same to pulling palm. Don't move horizontally. Higher a bit. The turning crossing legs. Turn body first. The direction is not east. And that turn to west. Crossing legs. Kicking just as its name implies. Moving this way. Move center of gravity backward slightly. Waist leads left foot to buckle to inside. Generally for 135 degrees. Buckle over here. Bring left arm over here. Meet two arms on left side. Squat leg. Lift leg. Kick out forward, then take back. That is okay. Continue with step and fisting crotch. Just as its name implies, pointing crotch is to point others' private part. Adhibit first means adhibiting the lower. In general, make a comparison, compare with others. Generally, zhi dan chui, based on it, after kicked, lift back, bend leg back, squat left leg and fall right leg, open right tiptoe. Make preparation for A shaft step for next movement. Move center of gravity forward, turn body to right. The center of right arm is upward gradually. Left arm bent to front of abutment. Right hand fist gradually. As lifting leg and stabbing, bent arm, hold fist, bent arm and held fist at this time. As turning, move center of gravity forward, turning from right to left. The baseball should be even. Over here, change the fist. The center of fist is upward. Change to fist hole facing up. How to move at this moment? Bending leg, take back left palm, stretch out right fist, moving this way. The fist should be distinguished from Lian Quan. Lian Quan faces down, the fist is in the middle. Baden Quan is even. These three fists. Zhi Dan Quan faces down. Fisting crotch is higher. Point to others' private parts. 
Binding jaw is an even fist. These three fists, even, face down slightly, down more, live over here each other. So comparing to others with myself, which I said just now, if you don't move in this way, how high is the hand? If the other is tall, high, if he's shorter than you, cannot compare in that way. Compared with own private parts, fisting crotch is pulling the other's crotch. It is mostly the same as Nian Quan. It is different in connections. Look back fisting crotch. Lift leg and stride, right hand fist, almost. It is different in connections. It is step and fisting crotch. Finished it, continue to step the grasp peacock's tail. Done it for several times before. Largely identical but with minor differences. Also the connection. Followed fisting crotch. It is different to continue from fisting crotch and parry and punch. It is lower fist. Moving this way like moving originally. As parry and punch we have introduced before, move center of gravity backward slightly through transition, ward off left arm, open left foot, place right hand in this way, after step, ward off left arm and ring right arm, step then. The fisting crotch is lower. Ward off this arm. Moving this way. The rolling fist doesn't look good. Not fluent. So move like this. Move center of gravity backward slightly. Waist leads left foot open. Ring. This circle comes from one another. It will be more comfortable. The circle moves first. The rest are the same as that. Deflect, squeeze, press, and a single whip. Turn in a single whip. After fisting crotch in order, step and grasp peacock's tail. Different in connection. Next in routine, Xia Shi. Next to Xiaoshi is step up to form seven stars, step back toward the straddle tiger, turning body with lotus kick. Practice continuously. Practice in this way. From Pupu, continue this. The same to that, single whip, Xiaoshi, as moving center of gravity, open left foot. Form eight shaped step, stepped, turn to emptiness and fullness step. The step will be steady, based on a shaped step. Please notice, it is lifting fist and stepping. Lift fist over here. Ring hand fist, bend arm. Lift fist as moving center of gravity forward. Step with two fists. Lift the fist. Not move out in this way. With meaning of beating, not only one fist. Beat with two fists. Fist is called seven stars fist. Fist it out. Buckle to inside. Act like this. Make clear the fist. Start from here. Move center of gravity, buckle foot, open foot, right hand fist. Fist like this. Lift fist and step. Waist leads to deflect upward. As acting Tui Bu Kwa Hu. Right hand moves backward. Ward off left arm, of course. 
As removing step, turn right fist gradually. Turn to inside. The center fist is upward. As removing step, remove elbow like this. Remove. Ward off the front part of body. Then squat leg. Bring two arms. Draw openly up and down. Left foot stretches out with emptiness step. Step up to form seven stars. As acting step backward to straddle the tiger, squat left leg and remove right leg. Remove fist at the same time. Straddle tiger. Then squat leg and place left foot correctly. Two arms ring up and down respectively. Moving this way. Form the figure which likes crane spreading the wings. It is not crane spreading the wings. It is kwa hu like this. Push forward. Up hand moves downward. Down hand moves upward. But these two arms, up and down, down and up, both two arms push forward. Ward off. Bring two arms, push forward. Sweeping loaders with leg. Notice the center of gravity. Turn this arm as turning. Warding off downward turns to up gradually. The figure of hand like deflecting but lower limbs, feet, in fact separated into three parts. The first step, don't move feet, turn body to right, for 135 degree, turn to southwest. Right foot moves with empty step. Don't move foot his leg. The second step, screw over the foot. Upper body turns for 90 degrees. From this angle to here, step and screw. Body turns from left side to right side. The second step, move in center of gravity on right foot. Move with four so. It is the second step. The third step is striding. The foot turns to outside. The foot falls down to the ground and points to east. Fell down to the ground. Move center of gravity over here. Stand up. The movements are in harmony. Erect the body, the arms move up. Adduct the feet, stride, rise up the leg, pat the foot. The right hand pats on right leg, pat. After that, don't fall down this leg. Raise it up, stop here. The arms are curving, as high as it. Don't be too stiff, but not too high. Lay here, sit on left leg, fall down the right leg, right foot strides to right. If lay here, when stretching out, it will be not natural. The right foot strides to right, sit on left leg, fall down the right leg, the right foot strides to right. The arms move from left to right with waist movement. The center of hands are towards body, from left to right, from upper to bottom, in right side, make a fist, turn around, hit by both hands. Move. The left fist lay horizontally, the right is above the forehead. The centers of the fist both are forward. Right leg kicks out. Do like that. This is bent bow to shoot tiger. One more time. Push out the arms.
Turn around. Don't erect the body. Steadily. Stride. Sweep the leg and stand steadily. Raise the leg. Pat. After that, swing arm. Sit. Fall down. Move. Make a fist. The eyes follow it. If not, it will not be suitable. Go here. Put the fist here. If put there, it is wrong. So make a fist. Turn around. Watch it. It is better. After that, step forward and parry and punch. The foot is to the east now, not the oblique direction. The foot is to southeast. To hit the face in this posture, so the feet is not suitable. Splay the left foot with waist movement, and the foot points to northeast. Turn left. Attack the right foot. In the left, take away. This is stepping forward and parry and punch. It must be clear. Wing down, waist and move. Advance and wind up and move waist. This is parry and punching. After that, it is withdrawing and pushing. Crossing arms, it is similar with the first part and the second part. Push out, then crossing arms, conclusion. It means the routine movement finishes. Concluding the end, this is conclusion. Now, Yang Jun will practice the last part for you. And at last, there will be a whole routine movement demonstration. The introduction stops here. Please go on to watch.
Young style Taiji Chuan, the 103 traditional movement routine. Preparation. Beginning. Ward of left of grasp the peacock's tail. Ward of right. Deflecting. Squeezing. Ah! Pressing. Ah! Turning off signal wave. Signal whip. Raise hand. Raise up. White crane spreading wings. Brush left knee to twist step. Hand strums the lead. Brush left knee to twist step. Brush right knee to twist step. Brush left knee to twist step. Hand strums the lead. Brush left knee to twist step. Step forward to parry and punch. Withdraw and push. Crossing arms. Carrying tiger to mountain. Deflecting. Squeezing. Pressing. Turning of punching under elbow.
punch on the elbow. First down near hole. Second. Third. Fly oblique. Raise hand up. Train spreading wings. Brush left knee to twist step. Needle at the bottom of the sea. Flash the arm. Turn around. Throw fist. Step forward and parry and punch. Advance. Grasp the peacock's tail. Deflecting. Squeezing. Pressing. Turning of single whip. Single whip. The first Yun Shou. Second, the third, single whip. High pat on the horse. Turning of separating right foot. Separating right foot. 